Mark Norman. Uh, Ah, jeez, I work with these people, or I did. That's a little awkward. Oh, boy, I'm seeing a lady now. Uh, it's not going well. Uh, not, not, never been good with the lady. I was a dumb kid. Was anybody else a little disappointed when they found out what abstinence meant? I remember being a kid, singing sex ed class. Teacher was like, you can't have sex, you'll get disease. You'll get a girl pregnant. But there is an alternative. And I was like, Jesus, thank God we have an alternative. We have something. There is an alternative. We have something. We're going to be fine. Don't worry. And she's like, abstinence. And I'm like, what is that? What's abstinence? What is that? What is that? What could that be? Sounds kind of hot. What do you think that is? Uh, what? What? Not doing it at all? This is the alternative? How is it? This decaf is an alternative. Margarine is an alternative. You know, I've never been to a diner and been like, you know, on this toast, I don't really want any butter. Do you have a butter alternative? They never say yes. Nothing. <laughs> so it's not an alternative. When I listen to Alternative Rock Station, it's not silence. <laughs> it's different kinds of rock. <sighs> ah. So yeah, the relationship's not going well, but uh, you know, one thing I never got about relationships are these, these guys who complain about their girlfriend when it's that time of the month. You're like, oh, well, did she get a little cranky for a week? Did she get a little moody? You do realize that means you're not a father, right? <laughs> Seems like a pretty good trade to me. I love the period. Bring on the menstruation, I say. <laughs> when my girlfriend gets her period, it's, it's that same feeling like right after you pay the rent. <laughs> you know, you're like, this month is gonna be fine. <laughs> Love that period, love that period. <sighs> guys, uh, guys I, got, I got a weird pet peeve. Um, I think people use the phrase, I don't fuck around, a little too loosely. <laughs> a friend of mine went down to the corner store, he came back up, he was unloading the bags, and I was like, ah, wheat thins. And he goes, yeah, I don't fuck around. <laughs> You bought Wheat Thins. I don't fuck around as a line for a guy who brings a gun to a knife fight. You bought fancy crackers. I think you're fucking around. What is that phrase, too? It's like a tough guy thing. People are so quick to say that. I don't fuck around. I don't fuck around. I say, let's fuck around. We should be fucking around more. Or fuck around right now. We're having a great time. <laughs> Next time somebody says, I don't fuck around, say, well, you should. <laughs> Come on. Loosen up. Take a load off. This is why you're getting to knife fights. Oh, boy. Speaking of fucking around, I live in a Jewish neighborhood. Uh, <laughs> A lot of Nazis here, apparently. <laughs> um, um, live in a Jewish neighborhood. I'm not Jewish. People think I am uh, all the time. I'm not. I'm not really religious at all. Um, although I do find religion fascinating. It's amazing to me how it changes over the years. Like in the 50s, rock and roll was considered the devil's music. Now there's Christian rock. <laughs> well, well, what the hell happened there? I guess Christians go by that old motto, if you can't beat them, ruin it. I'll end on this. I, uh, I got in trouble recently for using a racial slur. 
And I felt bad about this, you know. But in my defense, can we all agree that the gentlest of the racial slurs has got to be Chinaman? <laughs> I know it has negative connotation, I know, but he's from China, he's a man, not so bad, you know? <laughs> to me, I think the names of Chinese restaurants sound a lot more like racial slurs. <laughs> Let's try some. <laughs> you know who can't drive? Those fucking panda kings. I'll tell you that right now. They cannot drive at all. And listen to this, one of those golden noodles just moved to my apartment building. Oh yeah, moved in right next door to me. They're one big happy family. It's a fun joke, I did that joke in DC and this Asian guy came up to me and said, hey, I'd take it easy with that joke. You know, Chinese people, they don't fuck around. Thanks a lot guys, I'm Mark Darwin.